Hey everyone, today I'd like to show you how to set up the Rode VideoMic Pro onto almost any camera. So let's hop in here and get to this. Okay everyone, before we begin we've got to go over a few of the features and stuff found on the Rode VideoMic Pro. Okay, when we first start off here at the top we have a few settings. We have our off, then we have our own, then we have a high pass filter. Now I'd like to discuss what a high pass filter is. And if you're not already guessing it, it lets the high frequencies, you know, the higher tones, pass by. So if you're working in an industrial environment or a lot of rumbling, noise, perhaps on a, uh, a jet, you know, flying around, then cutting on the high pass filter can let that, uh, filter out a lot of that rumbling, low end, bassy noise and stuff. So it can be really good if you're in that type of environment. However, keep in mind, if you have a deep voice that really sounds better with a little bit more bass, using the high pass filter all the times may, you know, make your voice sound a little more high pitch or a little more airy. So the best setting is just to put it on normal, which is, does, uh, doesn't filter out any of the low or high pass areas, and then only use the high pass filter when you really need to. Okay, now down here at the bottom, we have a few other little settings. We have a negative 10, a 0, and a plus 20. And I'll discuss these just a little bit for you, okay? What these are are pre-gains inside the, or gains built into the actual microphone itself. 0 means it's not lowering the volume leaving the microphone, it means whatever is leaving the microphone going into your camera. 10, negative 10, means it's lowering. Maybe perhaps you're in a concert and it's a little bit too uh, loud. You can put on negative 10 to really lower that. A plus 20 is used when you really want to bring it up in case you're in a quieter environment. However, there's a way you can use this really uh, to your advantage to get rid of that, a lot of that hiss noise or preamp noise found in a lot of your DSLRs. Okay, everyone. So let's now take our Rode VideoMic Pro here and attach it to our DSLR then go into the menu settings and set up our sound volume. Okay everyone, well the first thing we need to do is attach our microphone to our DSLR. And simply slide it onto the hot shoe. Then you use a little locking nut here and tighten down fairly tight. Keep in mind there's no locking pin for the Rode Minivite Pro, so you want to snug it down, keep it from falling off. Then you want to open up the little plastic or rubber side uh, panel here and plug in our Rode VideoMic Pro. Now it's physically set up, let's hop into the menu system and actually configure our uh, Rode VideoMic Pro. Okay everyone, so let's turn on our camera. Then let's go into our menu system. Okay. Now you have to be in movie mode over here or you won't get these movie option settings okay on your second menu right below movie recording size you have sound recording you'll notice I already have mine set up in manual now let's choose that okay now the sound recording mode you have a few options here you can also disable it manual or auto by factor default it should be an auto so choose that and let's put it in manual okay then let's go down to recording level and let's choose it. Okay, first thing to do is run your recording uh, adjustment here all the way over to the uh, very uh, side here to the left, which is automatically uh, all the way off. Okay, now it's recommended to click one, two, three, four, five, at least four or five stops over from the back. Now there's a reason behind this. I mentioned that a lot of the DSLRs have a lot of preamp hiss noise. And the more you bring this up, the more it will introduce that hiss noise. So to get rid of this, we're going to go all the way down as far as we can and come up just a few clicks from the very bottom. So once you've done that, go ahead and hit set. And now we have it set up inside the camera. So now let's get back up here to the actual microphone and show you the best way to configure the microphone now that we have our menu settings set up. Okay everyone, so like I mentioned before we have an off, 
a on and a high pass filter. For normal use, just put it on one click over, which is on, and you'll see a green light come up. If the light is red, it is about time to change the battery. Now remember we have a negative 10, a 0, and a plus 20. Since we have the preamp in the camera set so low, for most normal usage, I recommend to put it on plus 20. And that is the recommended setting by many uh, videographers and stuff to really get the, what the microphone itself boost up the volume. And that way the camera is not introducing any hiss. Now, like I said before, if you go into a real noisy environment, maybe some windy or like an industrial area, you may want to pop up the high pass filter. And if you're getting a lot of wind rumble and stuff, maybe you should pop it up. But for the most part, to get the best vocals out of it, you'll just want it on the regular setting here. Okay, everyone. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did and you liked this video, how about a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, you'll know, take the time to subscribe. Subscribing is free. It's for you and lets you know when I release more videos. And until next time, everyone, thank you for watching.